knew it, Gilbert. I knew he'd be back. The hired hand. The he hired hand of Christian Mascagni. Look at that monster. He's got the championship belt. He hit the champ with his own title. Who is this? There's a belt upside Wayne's head for his trouble. Uh-oh, Silva. This is the 11th. Is the mask? Is the mask man the 11th and final competitor? Uh, it's oh, it's Rossi. It's Rossi. It's Rossi. All the way from across the pond. Oh, I should have known. I should have known. And look at him hand the ticket. He had the He's ticket. He's got the ball. Oh, he traded up to Chris The miracle man. The genius. Bell oh, down. my Lord. Up and down. Trouble. Cover. One, two. two. That's oh, it. he did it. He did it. The winner of the gauntlet match and new number one contender for the OVW Championship, Andreas Rossi. You're in Davis Arena, 4400 Shepherdsville, Lone, Louisville, Kentucky. Dean Hill alongside the anchor man, Gilbert Corsi, and Kenny the Starmaker Bowling as the 10 man. Muscagney, the made man, Muscagney brings man. Rossi out here to the ring in an opportunity to prove himself against the champ. This is a no disqualification, non-title match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by Christian Muscagney. He is from Liverpool, England, weighing in tonight at 245 pounds, Andreas. Rossi. Well, it's not often that I say Kenny Bowen has keen insight, but as I've been reflecting on the last hour about what you said on the top of the show about this no DQ match, well, I don't know. I think you may be right. Why don't you remind us? All I know is that Muscagney asked for it, and he got it, and when he left, he had a big old smile on his face, which tells me he's got an ace up his sleeve. But why, why were you concerned with the champ taking the match? As you I see, think we're about to find out. As you see, the American soldier, the OVW heavyweight champion, Jason Wayne, making his way into the square circle. This is a non-title match, and Ron Head will tell you more. His opponent from Jacksonville, North Carolina, weighing in tonight at 254 pounds, the current OVW heavyweight champion, Jason Wayne. And Dean Hill, just a little advice to you. Just a little advice to you, Dean Hill. If you ever call him Made Man Muscagney again, Frank will be on you like a jaywalker on 7th Street. What's he going to do? Have me rubbed out? Put a contract out on me, too? A hit on Dean keep, Hill? Keep running that yapper. Guys, keep running guys, that yapper. guys, the question is, was the champion zealous in taking this match? You, you know what I could do, Kenny? I could have Frank Muscagney defend me against his own son. How about that? And a good point, Gilbert. Elaborate on it. Well, I was asking Kenny to elaborate on oh. it. He talked about it at the beginning, like uh, the Jason Wayne, you know, may have let his passion and his desire for I've competition. Have you seen the good reporters on Fox 41 News that uh, kind of lead in with a little uh, big story, and they drag you along to the end before you see the big finish? Cover here, Stay cover tuned. Here. Stay tuned. Film at 11, Gilbert. Andreas or Rossi. You never know. You never get to do the 11 o'clock news. Andreas Rossi. Our filling, news airs at 10. Thank you. Feeling the wrath of the OVW heavyweight champion. M4. Jason Wayne. Oh, comes running in and Andreas Rossi puts that boot up to the face of the heavyweight champion. And what a flying left uh, clothesline. Hold it over the top as uh, the, the made man Muscagney shouting out directions from outside the ring. The aggression. From Andreas Rossi in the early goings of this matchup. Remember, all he wants is the money here. The title's not on the line. There's $25,000 on the line for whoever takes out the champ. I'm liable to retain Frank Muscagney just to, to be in my corner and, and against his own son. And you Wouldn't really it? think he would defend you over, over, over Christian? Well, no, because I haven't done anything wrong. But yeah. right now, the, the main man, yeah. Muscagney, the 10 man... Is circling the ring like as dig into your history oh the heavyweight bit. champion that's right no disqualification you did look. seem to retire suddenly from the police department I don't know if you can see the look on Muscagney's face but Muscagney is concerned and uh, Rossi has brought out a baseball bat a Louisville slugger I know we got some Louisville bats with us here tonight but I know that they didn't bring it in nobody I couldn't strike out and guys remember how that. 
uh, Rossi and, and Mustagni kind of wound up together it was Mondo who's wrestling a tournament in Africa and Mike Mustagni contracting out, really doing his best to eliminate Wayne as champion so that Mondo will have a clear path to the title. Very true, from very what true. I've, from what I've seen of the bats, they couldn't hit him if he had three swings. And the best thing going for us here tonight, short of, uh, of what's been happening so far tonight, is the fact that Mike Mondo is on a different continent. But oh, Rossi bringing in a steel chair as well. We got a chair, we got a, a trash got a couple of chairs in there. This is a no disqualify, no DQ match. My gosh, the chairs well, are flying well, in here. Well, is film at 11 rolling yet for you, Delbert, or not? Is this the danger that you were talking <laughs> about? Is this the worry that you have for the champion, well, the concern? I don't, I don't know if you can add two plus two, but I think it's all starting to add up right oh, now the for one everybody. What the world is he doing? They have lured this big, dumb Marine jarhead into a match well, that may stop. end his career. That's disrespectful. Yeah. That's our OVW champion. It's also accurate. You can call it disrespectful. Oh, oh, oh. the American oh, soldier comes up. And puts the boot in the, to the lid of the steel. Oh, oh and no. across the back of Muscadi. Did sounds, you hear that crack? Sounds like somebody shot a 38 Ow. in here and another one across the back of Andreas Rocky. He's oh. beating the man with a, with a garbage can lid. Disqualified, son of a bitch. No disqualification. Here, Kenny. You thought it was a great idea when they agreed to it. Right now, the American soldier Why, has got... Oh, look, at at look at Triple M, the made man. Muscat is in and pop him. Oh, and Jason Wayne turns. He's back on Rossi. Rossi takes advantage. Get on him, Rossi. Obviously, this thing has turned dirty, and he's going to cheat. Oh, man, and what a running clothesline. He ain't even a real branch of the military anyway. The deck continually stacked against Jason Wade. He's fighting two men here. And you got to know this is all about what's going to be coming up here. Here we go. Oh, oh, so no, we go. oh, oh, oh my oh, God. Oh, oh my it. goodness gracious. That's the steel it. chairs one, across the back one, of the one, American two. soldier. He got oh. him. <laughs> Your winner, Andreas Rossi. The Miracle Man has done it again. Put that Marine out of his misery. Put him out of his misery. Oh, and a little add to the insult here is the main man, Muscagney, pimp slaps Jason Wayne, our OVW heavyweight champion. Guys. Hold on, hold on, security. Security. What are they the doing out here? Clearing the ring here. Nobody called for them. I was a little bit worried about Jason Wayne. I mean, that power bomb right to the chair with his spine bent over the steel. you got to worry about whether or not Jason Wayne is going to be 100% as we approach ourselves for our next Saturday Night Special. And don't forget, please, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, the benefit show for the real deal, Rod Steele. Oh, hold on. We I got the you made man. Murder, the man. Murder, man. I, I told him. John Marine. Right, next British champion, baby. Does he get the $25,000 now? You're pretty proud of yourself, aren't you, Muscagney? Guys, look at the champ. Look at him riding. I told you, his spine ripped. It folded right over the steel chair. And, and he's right. back to the ring. Jason yes. Wayne looks like he is seriously hurt. He's All riding in pain. He's buying me dinner tonight. <laughs> he's riding in pain, and you got to be wondering about the American soldier. Whether or not he's going to be healed, is he damaged? Will we be making a trip to the doctor tonight to find out whether or not what appears to be the left side of the rib cage of the American soldier is damaged? They better throw him in a meat wagon right now because he can't even stand up. He's definitely in pain. The question is how much damage? How much damage has been done to Jason Wayne?